you see there he goes being lifted onto the uh, onto the ground so i just got a, a little bit more uh, forward and there was actually two engines um just near the uh, the uh new building in town and good morning welcome back to a brand new video so it looks like we have our first christmas tree now in blackpool and that's just near sainsbury's so i'd imagine the uh, the lights and everything will be uh, on that very soon and that looks uh looks really nice it's just near the uh, it's just near the train station so we'll keep an eye out for when the uh, the lights appear on that one The, uh, the side of the uh, the new DWP building and also Mr. Baswick. So it looks like we've got some flashing lights going on. I'm not too sure what's uh, what's been going on there. So it looks like they're just leaving that white car. And uh, yeah, you can see now they've got all the little uh, trees. Look at that. Let's have a, a quick look and see all the uh, the greenery now. What's uh, on the outside of this one? Look at that. That's quite nice. That. So uh, yeah, it's not often you see plants and things around Blackpool. So that looks uh, really great. So we'll have a quick look around the side also. See all the, uh, the trees, I mean, like a Christmas trees being planted, but also we've got a, looks like a, a fire engine just to the, uh, the right hand side. So I'm not too sure what has uh, happened along here. Looks like there's a fire cruise just on the uh, the little uh, road leading parallel. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna have a, a bit of a walk around town. We're gonna pop onto the promenade because I believe there's another Christmas tree in uh, St John's Square also. So we're gonna have a, a bit of a look at that. But yeah, I wonder what's uh, been going on here. You see, there's a. Uh, a couple of engines along this stretch. So, yeah, so uh, we'll see if we can find out exactly what has gone on. So I just got a, a little bit more uh, forward, and there was actually two engines um, just near the uh, the uh, new building in town. So it looks like there's uh, nothing going on at the moment. Yeah, a couple of a uh, couple of fire engines um, just sort of parked up. Looks like they have been in attendance to uh, around this area. And you see workers are still carrying out on this one, which is just near the Stanley Arms Hotel. And uh, that's a huge project. Eight people on the roof, and it was overpriced. Um, so under, shall I say, underestimated the amount it will cost um, to uh, to complete this one. But yeah, work is still uh, still going ahead very strong. So we just stopped near uh, St John's Square. So we're going to have a, a quick look around here. Because this is a, a wonderful little place. You see the uh, church just uh, straight ahead. And yeah, so it's been uh, 11 days now since we last saw sun. Because it's been so overcast. And it's just nice just having those uh, rays on you. It's, uh, it's sort of a fantastic feeling. You certainly do miss the sun. And like I said, it's been uh, been 11 days. It's been uh, it's not raining, but it's just been a, a miserable start to uh, to November. So we'll have a, a bit of a look around uh, St John's Square and uh, zigzag our way to the town centre. You can see the uh, Blackpool Tower just in the uh, the middle of all those, and we've got the uh, another Christmas tree. I'm going to have a close look because there's uh, the lights and all sorts are being uh, popped on now and it's certainly uh, becoming a, a haven for Christmas in Blackpool what with the uh, Christmas markets and all the uh, the trees around so we're going to have a, a bit of a closer look so 
There we go. That's the, uh, the second tree. And that's looking uh, really great. See all the, uh, the lights and everything being uh, popped onto that one. So that's a, a, quite a, a tall one, this one. It's certainly stretchy, it's probably a good tool. 75 feet, and you see uh, there's uh, two vans either side feeding the, uh, the lights carefully, positioning into the, uh, the tree. And uh, that's certainly, certainly a fitting place right next to the church. So I'd imagine by, uh, by this evening, that possibly all, uh, all could be lit up. Promenade. Have a, a bit of a look at the uh, the Christmas market. See if there's any uh, updates with that one, because I know there were uh, the uh, the work round the clock basically on that one. And it's only four more days before it's fully open. So we'll have a, a quick look and a catch up um, along the uh, the promenade. So we just stopped near the uh, the Costa Coffee, just on Church Street. And there's a, there's a sign or an engravement um, right above and it says Rawcliffe's LTD. So I'm going to try to find out exactly what that used to be. Because uh, it's amazing what you do find out on these uh, old buildings, what used to be. So I'm going to have a, a bit of research. Now I do find out, I'll pop that in the, uh, in the description. So we're just near the, uh, the Grand Theatre and you can see there's a lot of work uh, being carried out on this one. Yeah. And so we've got the uh, the generator. The, there's all water pouring down there. You can see. So yeah, there's a lot of work being carried out on the uh, the old Grand Theatre in Blackpool. So we're just in the uh, the heart of the town. You can see just above, right across, zigzagging right across the uh, the middle. We've got the uh, the Christmas lights, and they were. Uh, all going to be on and we've also got a little uh, Christmas displays so like I say it's going to be a really brilliant place to come this year for Christmas so we just hit the uh, the promenade now so what we're going to do we're not going to spend too much time because we have uh, covered this um, quite a lot it's the, uh, the Christmas market so we're going to have a, a quick look around because all sorts of little decorations coming and going so we're going to have a, a quick look you see that that lady just in front, just uh, spending a few minutes having a, a bit of a picnic, a bit of a pack-up lunch, and just taking in the uh, the amazing views. So we're going to head over towards the uh, the beach, have a quick look, because the art, uh, the, the the views are spectacular. You can see she's just heading over and taking it in. So we'll have a, a quick look um, at the views. How spectacular does that look? You know, on a, and that's such a gorgeous day today. You know, the sun's on your back. It's really, really nice, and it's just like a like a spring day today. Really nice. See how we're going to have a, a quick look at the uh, the Christmas market. Quick, quick brush by, and uh, we'll sort of head up, head back towards the uh, the town centre a little. And uh, yeah, just have a, a bit of a mutual round today, really. Because uh, uh, there's always something going on in Blackpool, no matter what it is. And you see the, uh, the tower there, look at that. Let's just move the camera up a little and you can see that one. There we go. Fantastic. So you see the uh, little sweets and fudge now. They're getting all the, uh, all the candy there. You see all the candies arrived, so they're just popping them into the... Uh, individual pots and containers and that's always a, a treat for your eyes and they see the, 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 the windmill the old German sausage and all sorts so we'll go and have a, a bit of a look around and see what else has uh, arrived so you see how things have uh, certainly been moving along and like I say, we've got the, uh, the snowman just to the left which I mentioned in a previous one he's guarding the, uh, the pay meter there he is uh, is a is a fair old size and yeah so this uh 
like I said, plenty of things uh, being going on, being developed, which is uh, which is great. You see all the uh, the still Merry Christmas like that. It just reminds you of like a, a wonderland. It's really uh, really something. And so I'm you know really excited for uh, for Friday the opening night. You know all along here you won't be able to move. It's gonna be crazy. And uh, some size. Some huge, huge baubles have arrived. Look at the size of those in that truck. They're, uh, they're something. Look at the, uh, the size of them. It looks like they're uh, covered in lights. All those will light up. And, uh, they are certainly massive. Look at them. That's a five feet diameter. Directly in front, we've got the uh, the Helter Skelter that was there the last time we uh, visited here. But you can see all the huts and everything are now uh, all complete, ready to go. And I wonder how many people are going to grab the uh, the loaded fries and the burger from this one. It's just amazing. You're like even like this little lamppost there just looks spectacular. Just uh, gets you in the uh, the Christmas spirit. You see all the little uh, all the little huts and the snowmen and the Santa Claus. So, look at all the, uh, all the goodies on the back of that. Look at all the drinks, so all, the, uh, all the stock. And everything now is, uh, is slowly arriving, filling these uh, stalls up. So you see now the, uh, the crane, they're gonna hook onto that bauble. See the, uh, the hook. And uh, I'd imagine they'll be uh, taking them off this uh, long loading truck whiffing them in the air and placing them in that very special place. And you see there he goes being lifted onto the uh, onto the ground into uh, its new home for the next next several weeks. So there's the, uh, the ice skatering, so that's still yet to be uh, completed. And the sun is just uh, a little against us as we uh, face the sun, but we'll move the camera around to the, uh, the right. I mean, the signal's fairly decent. And you can it's see there's all sorts, all sorts still going on, still going strong. And there's, uh, there's the beach house. They've got a, a bird's eye view, so to speak. And I can see all the uh, all the goings on and the developments over that uh, that fresh ground coffee or uh, a bit of a pint, if the wish. So yeah, we'll just uh, head on a little bit more towards the uh, the sea. So I know everyone uh, enjoys a bit of a bit of a look at this sea, and it's uh, especially on a, a day like this, certainly wonderful. Yeah, what a what a great place, the beach house for this uh, for this time of day and with the, uh, the sunshine coming down. Because also there's some work carrying out again on the, uh, the North Pier. And uh, let's have a, a quick look. So they've certainly been uh, spending a, an awful lot of effort and time in uh, getting the, uh, the North Pier ready for the next season. And you can see that gentleman down there, he's certainly uh, Certainly surrounded by a huge, huge flock of seagulls. Whether he's, uh, it looks like he's feeding a, a few at a time. Uh, there must be, uh, it must be over 100 seagulls there. Waiting to grab that little bit. Look at that. So he's, uh, he's giving the, uh, the breakfast on this uh, really nice day. Look at that. They certainly go a bit, certainly go a bit nuts over a, a few crisps or the odd drop chip, and you can hear them squawking away as he uh, continues to feed them. So, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, today's a bit of a, a look around 
with the, uh, the Christmas uh, coming to life and coming to Blackpool. And uh, yeah, until, until next time, um, many thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, consider subscribing. It doesn't cost anything. Hit the like button. Any comment, I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Take care, and it is a bye from me. Bye-bye.